Hey guys, Florida Suburban Dad here. Um, it's a weekend time. It's uh, just before the holidays here and everything else. And I just wanted to touch, stop in, see you guys, talk to you for a little bit. Um, earlier today, I uploaded that video of that 10 pound cheeseburger um, made for my son's birthday weekend and everything else. The thing was just ungodly. And I think we still have about at least a quarter or a third of it left. So it goes quite a bit of ways. But the whole actual reason I wanted to make this video and everything else is for those of you that have been following me on my journey, my weight loss journey and everything else, um, it's the holiday time and that's when a lot of people will run into basically all kinds of temptations and things like that. Um, so basically a lot of this video, I'm sorry if you're looking for something that has to do more with Florida and everything else, that's not going to be a lot in this one, except for the fact that it is about 74 degrees outside, sunny and beautiful. So those of you back up north where I came from that got, you know, 40 inches of snow in the past couple days, sorry, I'm going to live it up down here. But back to the thing I wanted to talk about is there is a couple key things that I've done and changed in my journey and in my fitness goals the last couple months that have worked really, really well for me. About Just about three months ago, I got back into IF, um, intermittent fasting. Um, nowadays, there's a new key, you know, pop word out there, structured eating, you know, things like that. And we'll talk a little bit about that in a little bit here. But um, right after our cruise to the Bahamas and everything, my wife, who has had her own fitness issues and stuff like that over the past few years, she wanted to get, you know, just put the notch to it and everything else and she looked into and researched and I researched along with her she got into what is called the ketogenic diet let's see if I can talk here she got into the ketogenic diet um, not something I was completely interested in um, a little stricter than I wanted to go and everything else um, I do keep my carbs really low um, but the thing is is my wife and I we actually have a real partnership I know Motivation and having someone working with you on anything you do or someone standing behind you or anything like that Helps you through things so I two months ago started doing the keto diet with her and I've actually had really nice results Now is it something I'm gonna to want to stick with for long periods of time? No, I'm figuring at least another month from now and everything else I'm gonna start incorporating a few good carbs back into my diet um, basically like some sweet potatoes just a little higher on the carb list. I'm not going to be going nuts or anything like that, but I am going to be upping my carbs a little bit more. I'm doing a lot more at the gym, a lot more heavy weightlifting and everything else. And I want to just up my carbs just a little bit. So, but the thing is for her, the keto diet is working phenomenally well. So if that is something you're interested in, there is a lot of videos out there. Um, two different uh, people out there on YouTube world that I could actually recommend and do like their, uh, videos and their work quite a bit. One would be Dr. Berg. You can find his channel under Dr. Berg. And another gentleman is by the name of Thomas DeLauer. Um, he's a little more on my scale and where I feel on the keto. But Dr. Berg, both of them have a lot of science and a lot of good backing behind their stuff. Um, but the thing is, is you have two different worlds. Dr. Berg, as I put it, he's at OCD, nails to the wall, everything is, you know, straight and narrow black and white and done to the letter even his wife has said she doesn't follow strict as things as strict as he does you know but the thing is you can learn a lot and learn a lot about intermittent fasting ketogenic diets on his channel and thomas delauer you can learn a lot about it too now the thing is i've seen a lot lately with um intermittent fasting is there's a new pop word out there or hashtag or anything else structured eating um, structured eating. Now, intermittent fasting, structured eating, they're basically the same goddamn thing. Okay, now intermittent fasting over the years has been around forever. I used to do it years ago, got back into it, love what it do does for me and everything else. Intermittent fasting, it's a time to eat and a time not to eat. There's different programs with it. There's the you know, the 16-8, there's the 5 and 2, there's, you know, there's a few different ones. You find research and, does, and do what works for you. But really what scares a lot of people is the word fasting. Um, they're like, I'm going to starve myself. I'm going to waste away and go nuts and everything else. No. 
So I think that's where this new word has come out, structured eating. So they took the fasting out of it, and structured eating is when to eat and when not to eat, certain time periods. Um, my opinion, looking at both, uh, you know, the new videos and stuff on that, they're the same damn thing. But it's a new hashtag. In fact, on this video, I'll probably even label it on there. Ride that hashtag out. Why not? But the thing is, is IF has done a lot for me. Now, the big thing right now um, where I'm talking about these diets and everything else is the seasons we're going into right now. Now, I, me and my wife stuck with a ketogenic diet through Thanksgiving. It was rough, really rough. Um, but we both did it and rocked on through it. Um, December 25th, Christmas Day, is going to mark two months that we are going to get um, be on a ketogenic diet along with the IF and we've been pretty strict with it and doing really well We've been keeping our carbs under 20 um, We've been you know keeping our diets right down through keeping an eye on our macros I mean making sure we get all of our vitamins in lots of greens everything else, but Christmas Day We are going to do what we call and what you should call a refeed day Okay, not cheat day because that word cheat is going to screw with your head Okay, now if you're doing a couple cheat days a week you already have some other issues right there there's some things you want to look about with your diet and everything else but basically we're going to take it as a refeed day we're going to take one day on Christmas Day with the families with everybody else where we're going to have the waffles in the morning we're going to have you know the dinners and the lunch and everything else IF is going to be turned off that day keto is going to be turned off that day we're actually really interested to see how we take to it just to be honest with you um we're not planning on doing we're planning on getting right back into our gears right after that um the next day and everything else but we're planning on taking christmas off it's not going to kill us it's not going to ruin everything we've gained and everything else um we're just taking a day off it helps you mentally it'll help refeed our body get some gly glycogen uh, uh, glycogen back into our muscles and into our system and everything else kind of boost up the system a little bit and everything up and it'll be good for us now the thing is we're we've re researched this and really looked into what we're going to be doing before that first thing in the morning um, we're going to be having a glass of lemon water okay the, the acid in the lemon uh, lemons and everything else it's going to basically just help prepare our guts and our systems and our stomach for the carbs we're going to be taking in that day and we're also going to be ending out our day with some apple cider vinegar which we take already that helps kick the different components of that will help keep our digestive system up and primed and ready to go to help get those carbs the hell out of us you know the excess as much as possible now the thing is is like I said we're not calling this a cheat day the word cheat day I can't stand it because if you are working out if you are on a journey or anything like I am and you're looking forward to your next cheat day you're already losing right there so we are looking at it as a refeed day. Now this is after two months of strict keto and three months of IF. We're taking one day. And our systems are probably gonna play a little haywire and everything else, but we're gonna take it and we're gonna have just a nice Christmas day with everybody with it. Now the thing is, I know the holidays. You have all those temptations out there and everything else. You have the cookies, eggnog, everything else. It's there. You just have to look at it and say, it's not one of those, you don't say, I can't have that. You're saying, you gotta say to yourself, I don't eat that, I don't drink that. It helps you get through. When you say you can't do something, it's almost like someone's holding your hands behind your back and you know duct tape over your mouth and forcing you to do something. You look at your temptations and everything and say, I don't do that. I don't eat that, I don't drink that. It'll help you a lot more in the brain than you think. Um, it's helped me, it's helped my wife, it's helped us work through a lot of this. Um, the other thing is too, is these diets aren't starvation. They're not, you know, punishment or anything else. There's lots of good stuff that we've eaten and done well with and everything else. And it's, the thing is with these diets, especially with something as low carb as a keto diet, it shows you how much sugar is in everything out there. And it opens your eyes up to a lot. Even if you don't stick with keto, if you're on it for at least a few weeks or more, you'll definitely see, feel some changes in everything else in your body. But just the fact that you're looking at the backs of things, at the ingredients on different things, and looking at the sugar contents, 
it'll wake you up. Now, as of today, um, I have lost a total of 66 pounds since the first week of May. And I'm loving it. Um, I have dropped another couple more inches around my waist uh, this past month and everything else. I don't have a starting point on where that was. Basically, I was really, really fat. And now I'm not... I'm down here. I'm still thick, still big guy, still got the shoulders, everything else. Jim helps with that and everything else. I'm not going to be, you know, incy mincy little guy or anything like that. But all that fat, I've gone down from a size 46 down to a comfortable 38 with a belt. There's some 36s I can wear. Gone down quite a bit on that. I've gone down from 3XL shirts down to extra large shirts. Um, some 2X on shirts a little more comfortable especially with these shoulders and everything else so the stuff works hard work works you have to get it in your brain and you're going to do it contrary to whatever holiday it is or anything like that you got to tell yourself you're going to do it so basically all i can say is that's where we are in our journey and i know during these holidays i wish you all a great happy holidays no matter what denomination you are um and if you ever have that temptation or anything else through it Get the words cheat out of your head. One. Okay? Now, if you're doing, if you're literally dying, dieting for your next cheat day, you've already lost. Just telling you plain and simple. Um, now, if you've dieted for the month or you're following a strict eating pan, plan for a long time, it's a refeed day. You're basically throwing some stuff back, nutrients and macros and micros and everything back into your body and everything else. Sometimes, like, we're going to be interested, especially with the kind of carbs we're going to be taking, we're seeing how our stomachs and how our system is going to react to it it happens but get cheat out of your head i don't want to hear a lot of that you know new year's resolution is going to be the new me and everything else the time for the new you and everything else is right now um basically mine was in may you know i just flipped my switch and that was my time um got tired of where i was at so like i said not doing too shabby um and i want to see that for a lot of you out there too and with intermittent fasting and structured eating, they're the same damn thing. Whatever words you want to use. So until the next video and everything else, this is just a nice little holiday update on our journey, my journey. And hopefully some of you out there in your journeys are doing just as well and doing great. I hope to hear from some of you. Um, until then, happy holidays. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to hit that little bell up there because... With my schedule, you never know when a video is going to pop up. One, two a week, but you never know when. And make sure to subscribe and throw me a thumbs up out there. Till the next video, love you guys. Happy holidays. I'll see you later.